Yo, what is up guys? It is Yellowfin and in this video, we're going to be joining the Pacific Frontiers event because thought I should make a video about it since it is an American event and it's also with the new Pacific Coast Highway update, even though it's not that new, I guess, right? How old is it now? A little over two months-ish, kinda. Kinda getting there to a little over two months. Um, this was my first car. It's, oh, also at 60 days. Okay, yeah, so not two months yet, but it will be nearing that soon. And this is the hand that I'm going to be using. Pretty interesting hand. I'm not sure how well it'll work because there is a drag. So like I could use one of these three, but there's also off-roads and twisty stuff. So I feel like the Viper would be the most useful. And then I've got the SVT Lightning for the city streets. I am working on my, um, where is it? Uh, where's medium car attributes? That's what I want medium and then no, my car status uh, i don't know c <laughs> um where it is oh no it's wait it's high whoops um high ground clearance yeah this one the dodge ram srt 10 that one's being worked on right now so maybe i'll get it maxed out in time for this event when's it ending though in a day okay yeah so maybe i'll have it maxed out in time i don't know but let's join and see how well we can do now because my hand doesn't seem too bad, I'd say. It could be pretty decent. Like, this first guy we're going to beat easily. But we'll honestly have to see. I'm not sure if it'll be ceramic pack worthy. I really need to max out that Dodge Durango because I use it all the time. So it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to finally max it out at some point. You know, it's SRT. Even though it doesn't have really any MRA. But it's got good 0-60 and it'll max out with really good handling. So... Probably wouldn't be a bad investment to go for. A lot of points there against the Flex. And then this last one as well. The Dodge Viper. See, this is why I'm using the Dodge Viper though. Because the Super Stock is what I'd probably use instead for the drags and stuff. But it's only got 87 handling while my Viper's got 98. And that first track set that we just got is repeated. Okay, this is the... Yeah, this one's not bad either. Because I've got the double mediums with the Avenger and the City Streets. Or not City Streets, I mean the... Um, Ford Lightning. Now this one will be a loss, I believe, against the Juice, and but we should get some good points from the motocross track and the hill climb as well. And we win here too with the Dodge Avenger, which is very nice. But now this one will be interesting. Yeah, the Dodge does beat us because it's just got the better um, top speed. I'm not sure how different the MRA is between the two. It's probably pretty similar, I believe. There we go. There we beat the Mustang, and then here we'll beat the Circuit easily with 250 all right we are back now ford bronco got the win now time to get a lot of points right here against the dodge charger yep 250 there we go 650 anything interesting from this prize board could be a ford except i don't know if i need any more american fords let's check real quick usa status not owned d Nope, I've got all the rear Fords already, so nothing too special from our prize board then. This is also another easy win. Sorry, Chris, but gotta gotta get the win right here. So there we go. SVT Lightning will tie. Then we'll get a lot of points on the off-roads, like right here against the Sport Track Adrenaline. Yep, 141. Then the one-mile drag will also be at quite a lot of points, I believe. Yep, 132. The Ford Visas did get up pretty fast, though. Just was too slow to start. And then there we'll get some points on the Citadel. Very cool, 219. And, oop, this last one. We'll beat the Dodge Charger with 65 points. There we go. If I was using the Super Stock, that would only been 50 points. So, grab um, some more prizes. Nothing too special there. And this is the last track set. The one with the field slalom. This is the only track set I'll struggle a bit on. Dang, where are these opponents when I was racing the ones with the triple off-road track sets? Yeah, he's got double Durango, so that's not too bad. We can definitely beat him, though. Because I plan on using the Dodge there. But yeah, this is the only track set just that I don't have a great hand at. Or do we do something like that? Now that should go in City Tour. City Slalom. Field Slalom, I guess. I don't really know these tracks very well. And that and that. 
I don't know, we'll see what happens. We should still win, but, like, I don't know what's the best placement when going up against other hands. Like, City Slalom's pretty easily, it's just a slalom test, but, like, similar to Mountain Slalom. Okay, is the Bronco better on grass? Yep, looks like off-road tires are pretty decent at grass. This is a cool-looking track, though. I don't even think I've seen this one before. There we go, through the field. They should really use these track sets more, like the ones that they don't use very often. They should definitely use them a lot more. Field slalom too, this is a pretty interesting one that doesn't really get used very often. Because there is a ton of interesting ones, like there's those like prototype testing track sets that like never get used, of like that figure eight and the weird um like drag where you have a medium car though. Because that's like a really interesting concept where you need a dragster but it's medium because there aren't very many medium dragsters. But the ones that are medium are actually then pretty good. And it like gives you a purpose to max those out. Like I have a few actually. I even just did like performance, rear wheel drive, medium. Yeah, like the Holden. It would give the Holdens and the Jaguars a lot more purpose. Because otherwise they're just kind of meh compared to like their low ground clearance counterparts. Well, I guess the Holden doesn't have any low ground clearance counterparts. But these two would be a lot more useful if they used those track sets a bit more. And the 908RC would just dominate even more. But it could make a lot more interesting cars interesting, like the E55 and its MRA, the Bentleys, could be useful on drags. So, I feel like they should totally use those track sets a bit more. Let's see if we can beat the Navicross. I didn't even look at the other cars they got, but we should be fine. Ooh, they maxed out the Edge Sport. That's interesting. I wonder how many trophies this guy had. That's a 3-3. No, 3-2-3. Three, three. Oh, that's a mistake. Got a 3-2-3. Three, three. Or not, no. Got a 3-3-2, three, three, that one. Is that maxed out? That is. And that's 3-2-3. Three, three. Okay, that one's at least tuned right. But, interesting. All right, I don't actually know if we will win this or not. We should win this first race, so that's one. And we win the last race, so that's two wins. But the other three will be interesting. Like, I'm not sure how this will end, because the Ford Edge runs away very quickly. But then we catch up to it quite a lot in the corners. It honestly doesn't seem that bad, though. 4.683. Would it be a bad max out? It is American, too. Oh, it got us. Okay. I might have to consider that Ford Edge, too, for maxing out. Now, this, they had ETB. Yep, so that's a loss. Now we got to see. This will be the interesting one. The decider. Can the Bronco Concept pass the Raptor? No, it cannot. Dang, we really got screwed by the Edge Sport. I did not realize that was a maxed out Edge. So we are going to be ending it off with one loss. So 100 to 150, 4 and 1. Dang, I probably should have checked the, more of the opponents, but really it doesn't matter. We're in 7th, and what really matters is just playing enough tickets to be able to get a ceramic pack. So I'll probably also do a video on this one too, depending on the track sets, because they do have some pretty decent looking cars. Like, I was thinking running something like this or that, but not sure what the track sets are yet, so I'll have to check, but then I could use my maxed out Jag. So subscribe to stay tuned for that video, um, like the video, I'm Yellowfin, and goodbye.